Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the internal storage with your UFI Homebase 3. S380 and full disclosure Eufy have sent this home base to me so that I can record videos for you. So if you didn't know already the Eufy home base 3 does already come pre-set up with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. That's not on a drive you can access it's built directly into the unit but if you want to expand that if you want to be able to have more clips at any one time saved then yes you can add a separate drive. Now, the drive you are going to need to add, it doesn't matter what make it is, but it needs to be a two and a half inch drive, just like this one here. Okay, so this is the same sort of drive, the same size that you tend to find in a traditional laptop. So what I have here is a solid state drive, one terabyte in size. Now you can actually put drives into this that are up to 16 terabytes in size, although a 16 terabyte drive would be insanely expensive and probably beyond what most people would actually ever need. But for the purposes of demonstration, this one terabyte drive will more than be sufficient. So the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the home base from all of the cables. So we'll unplug the power cable and we'll disconnect the ethernet cable. And now I'll switch camera position so that you can get a better look. And once we've got the drive installed, we'll fire up the Eufy security app and see what we need to do within that. Okay, so make sure you have your screwdriver handy. I've got mine just here. And of course the drive itself, which we're gonna be upgrading with. And at the back of the device, if you just push down, that will give you the leverage you need in order to remove the top cover here. This does come with a sticker on top, which I do recommend removing as that will give you the needed ventilation. And then just inside here, you can see we have the hard drive bay and we have the little screw there that we need to remove and a pull sign here, which will actually give us the leverage we need to remove the bay. So let's remove this single screw first of all. Make sure you don't lose that, keep that safe to one side. And then my finger goes under there and out comes the bay. And we can pop that over to the side for the moment. Now, whether you purchased your home base as a standalone unit, or perhaps you received it as part of a camera set, then in either case, you should have received a small bag of these tiny screws here. So now if you take your two and a half inch drive, you'll see there are four screw holes on the bottom, along with two on each of the longer sides. Now, we're not going to be worrying too much about the ones on the bottom here, other than two are going to be used to line up to the mount guides here. And you can see my orientation here with the connectors just poking out of the bottom of the enclosure. That's exactly what we want. So if we looked at it from this side, we can see the top of our drive. Now, on the sides here, we're going to put those four screws. So two on this side two on this side and make sure they are secured nicely into place. And I tend to do, to start with, just one on each side on the opposite corners and that will make sure the drive is secured for the other two. So now we've got the drive secured in the enclosure here, all we need to do is pop it back down into the home base. So you can see we have the little screw hole there and that will match up with that there. So you can't misalign this, just pop that down click it into position and then take the original screw we took out in order to re-secure the enclosure. And now that we've done that, the actual hardware surgery, as I call it, is done. So that wasn't difficult, was it? I'm sure you all managed that. Let's get the cover back on. We'll get this plugged in, get it turned back on, and then we'll go into the app. So I've gone ahead and opened up the Eufy Security app and just gone onto the home base here. And you can see, if we scroll down to see storage management, it has detected the one terabyte drive that I've just installed. However, right now it's giving us an HDD format error. And that's because we haven't yet formatted the drive in order to make it fully accessible to the home base. And you may not get that precise error. It may say something different, or it may not even detect the drive in terms of the storage that it gives you here. In either case, the steps you follow should be the same. Just tap that option, okay, where it shows the size of the drive. And then you'll see another warning telling you the SSD is unavailable and we need to format it for normal use. And lo and behold, there's a format button. So this really isn't complicated. We'll tap that, confirm that we want to format, 
and then it's just a case of waiting for that process to complete. And folks, there we have it. So that took just under two minutes to format my one terabyte drive and the space is now available. One thing I do want to point out is that when you are using a hard drive or solid state drive in your home base three, that will automatically take the priority as to where clips are recorded. Once that has been filled, the home base will then automatically switch to using the 16 gigabytes of internal storage, just in case you were interested in that. Now, some may recommend that for, for security cameras, you want to use a traditional mechanical hard drive rather than a solid state drive because solid state drives tend to fail more quickly, especially when they are having a lot of data written to them and overwritten over a prolonged period. Now, personally, I've not had an issue with using solid state drives in my security, but it is a point I just wanted to put out there in case you wanted to save a little bit of money and get a larger sized mechanical hard drive. It may actually prove beneficial in the long run. As you can see, the process was very simple actually and nothing complicated with it at all. Eufy have kept things like that on purpose so that if you do want to add another drive you don't need to be some kind of tech whiz in order to do it. Anyone can do this. Thanks for stopping by checking out the content. Hopefully it helps and I'll see you soon.